Well, hello everyone. I thought I would uh, start off this week with a nice little piece of geometry that was kind of a bowl, if you will, with some nice uh, hexagonal cutouts on it. So <clears throat> I'm thinking of a bowl that would be about six inches tall. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm working in a metric file, but that's okay because when I type in 6IN, I get metric the metric conversion. It's nice. And X is uh, really cool that way. If you type in IN after something, even if you're in a metric file, you get inches. If you type in uh, FT, you get feet. If you type in MM, you get millimeters. If you type in KM, you get kilometers. And I kid you not, if you type in angstrom units, you'll get angstrom units. That's pretty cool. If you're really interested in uh, Let's just do three inches right here. If you're really interested in building an arc and you wanted cupids, you're out of luck. You're going to have to figure that one out yourself. <laughs> it doesn't have cupids, um, but it has MI for miles. It has a KM for kilometers. So all that's pretty cool. Um, so here's my sketch, and I'm just going to revolve that real nicely about this little center line there. So, so there's the start of my bowl. Now, as you can see, I haven't shelled it out or anything yet. Um, I think I'll do that with a, um, let's say, a half inch thickness. So I'll click on here, click on there, and say 0.5 in. Uh, oops, what is that? Uh, oh, I have a negative 5. <laughs> so 0.5 in. Uh, say OK. And it's really interesting to think of a negative shell. Uh, okay, next I want the hexagonal pattern on here. And so I'm going to do that with the algorithmic modeling. It's really awesome. You go to algorithmic feature and you have to make yourself a feature. Okay, so the feature I'm going to make, I'm going to start by the select face command. There you go, select face. Uh, the select face is going to go into the hexagonal grid. Here it is, hexagonal grid. Okay, the hexagonal grid will go to uh, curves and good and then um, I'm going to connect this to this. There we go. And then U and V I'll have to experiment with a little bit. So I'll create an input for that and I'll create an input for that and I'll create an input for this by experience, um, uh, if you're doing this, dealing something with something circular, and you want the uh, hexagons to go in a circular pattern, you want a uh, one in three or a four uh, relationship. So I'm going to type in uh, 46 here. You want it to be an even number, and I'm going to select this face and say OK and see what I get. Um, okay, so what I can see here is um, there's, there, there should be 10 this way and 46 the other way. So I'm going to switch these numbers around. There's your 46 and there's your 10. Yeah. It's thinking about it. It takes a moment. Okay, and here's your 10. All right, let's see how that looks. Very nice. Um... Let's see, should we do a few more? Maybe 50. 50 and 10. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks nicer. Looks like the hexagons are a little bit more hexag hexagonal. <laughs> okay, next, we're going to take these hexagons and do something interesting with them. So I'll finish that. Ah, nice. And these are the cutouts that I want. And so I'm going to do a, I'm going to do some thickening. Uh, let's see, let's go to surface. Let's go to thicken. And what we're going to use is the, um, uh, let's just give this a try here. No, 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 no. I want my, I want to subdivide all this. Okay, now, 
before I subdivide it, I'm going to make a copy. So I'm going to go into Extract Geometry. And, oh, wait, before that, I'm going to put it on a different, <clears throat> I'm going to say uh, Layer Settings, and I'm going to make Layer 10 the work layer. Um, you'll see why in just a moment that's important. And I'm going to say Home, More, Extract Body, uh, Extract Geometry. <clears throat> we're going to do the body, and we're going to do it associative, hide original. Uh, uh, we don't have to inherit the material, and just click on it and say OK. So what I have here is on layer 10, because I'm hiding the original. That's cool. And then we're going to do a standard. Um, let's do the um, uh, divide face. We're going to divide face. So we're going to select this single face here, like that. And we're going to select the curves. It's inferring them. It's OK. So it makes a whole bunch of little hexagonal faces. And it uh, hid the dividing objects. And so I've got to go to this little doodad, like that. OK. And now I'm going to do a thicken for reasons that will become obvious in just a moment. I'm going to say surface thicken and I'm going to do individual surfaces surfi this one there uh this one there come on little nx oh I didn't mean to okay that so I'll just double click on it okay cancel I want to edit this thicken there we go now, um, I want it to go to a minus 6, and <clears throat> I want to keep thickening. I want this one. I want to skip one and go a row lower. This one. It's a little hard to divine. Ah, that's a better view. This one. This one, this one, this one, and finally, this one. So these are the ones that I want to thicken with a negative thicken, so it will be going into the solid. So say OK there. All right. Control B. Let's hide that for a second. Cool. Now, these little thickens, um, I want to offset them to make them thinner by two millimeters. So I'm going to do a uh, offset. Um, we're going to offset faces. And I'm just going to grab up all these faces. And I'm going to say minus two. And they become smaller. They now become cutters. And I'm going to now change the change the work layer. I'm going to go to view layer settings. I'm going to go back to layer one and hide layer 10. Control shift K. I'm going to bring back the original bowl. Cool. And then I'm going to say layer settings and bring back layer 10. And there are my cutters. There they are. And I'm just going to take these cutters and I'm going to copy, not copy them, I'm going to pattern them. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to offset this face just by a little bit, minus one, that face, so that when I do the cutting, I will be confident that they will cut through the way I want them to. Okay. Um, that didn't seem to do exactly what I wanted it to do. Offset region. Weird. Okay. Let's assu assume that's okay. And now I'm going to pattern. There's going to be a, not pattern feature, but pattern body. And X is so cool that it has the ability to quote unquote pattern geometry. Okay. 
I'm going to select up all the little cutters and except I'm not going to be patterning the bowl so uh, I'm oh wait a second I should have selected by body okay so solid body okay pattern geometry solid body okay grab up all these hold my finger on the shift key and deselect that one do a circular specify vector the vector is here and we're going to do how many of these 24 there we go 24 of those does that look right not exactly six got to get it so they line up perfectly perfect 25 okay so there's all the cutters say okay how fun is that all right so now all we have to do is one big old subtract put the blends on make it nice so then we go to subtract we have the target body and we have all of the tools. This should take a moment because there's a lot of them going on. And there you have it. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a circular dependency. <clears throat> Here's why. When I did the extract body, I should have had edit parameters. I should have had this on, fix it current timestamp. Because if you don't fix it current timestamp, you're subtracting geometry from something that you're then copying. But if that copy is recursive, then um, it tries to subtract, it tries to copy the thing that you're doing to it. It's kind of, and it kind of like goes back in time. So um, that's bad. <laughs> So, okay, so now that I've done that, subtract, select the body, select all the tools, say okay, pray a little, <laughs> and watch as it comes back beautifully. There we go. That is gorgeous. Okay. Finally, I want to round this off so it's really nice. So I'm going to go to a face blend. Let's see if this works very nicely. Um, oh wait, before I face blend it, I'm just going to offset this edge a little bit. Just bring it up a little bit. Um, by five. Say okay. And then go into the face blend tool. Uh, face blend. I want a three entity face blend. Okay, three face blend. My first face will be that face. My second face will be that face. And my third face will be the face on the top. Say okay. So that's going to make a nice blend to blend. And I'm going to do a regular edge blend. Regular edge blend. On the bottom, doink, and say OK. And there you have a beautiful bowl. Let's give it a nice rendering there. We deserve a good rendering. Let's control W and get rid of the coordinate system. And there you have it, a beautiful bowl with a nice hexagonal pattern done easily, easily with the algorithmic feature. I'm doing a few of these videos on the algorithmic feature. It's so powerful. And uh, there you have it. There's your little enjoyment for a Monday morning. And um, please uh, subscribe with the little bell thing on the bottom so that you will get notifications when I um, show more of these. and like it of course please share it with your friends this channel is devoted to awesome nx techniques that you could use to make 
all sorts of geometry, some of it beautiful, some of it just mechanical engineering, and I hope you love it. Uh, certainly uh, give me feedback. I um, do respond to uh, certain requests, if you will. And um, as always, this is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. It's a, a privilege to create these videos for you. Thank you. Thank you.